The functions of a business analyst is often cyclical and sometimes repetitive with each repetition or with each cycle delivering a substantial value back to the business, its stakeholders, and its customers. <laughs> Business analysts are no doubt the curator of change for most businesses. The question of the definition of the roles and responsibilities of a business analyst is one that has defied and would likely continue to defy a universal answer. However, the roles and the responsibilities of a business analyst can be defined by a business subject to their needs and subject to their expectations of whoever is filling that role. It is also not unusual for the occupier of that role to not be referred to as a business analyst, as there are a myriad of job titles that approximate the title of the business analyst. It is also not unusual for people to wonder what are the specifics that a business analyst undertakes in a business and for a business and its customers. Again, this is subject to the definitions that a business may put forward for that job role. However, there are commonalities across industries and across businesses as to some of the expectations that businesses have of business analysts. This may be best presented as a cycle as the functions of a business analyst is often cyclical and sometimes repetitive with each repetition or with each cycle delivering a substantial value back to the business, its stakeholders and its customers. As a curator of change, perhaps the first responsibility of a business analyst is clarifying and or situating the change that needs to happen. It is never unusual for an idea for a change to float around and even in some structured environment to be registered as a project or an initiative or an effort that needs to be completed without a full-on understanding of the what, the why, the where, and the how. Now, clarifying this falls squarely on the laps of a business analyst. Two, which is perhaps closely related to the first is that the business analyst in clarifying the change that needs to happen also needs to define the boundaries of this change. Otherwise, we might have a case of uncontained change. And as business resources are limited, there really is no room for uncontained or unconstrained change. So it becomes the responsibility of the curator in chief, the business analyst, to not only clarify and determine what change really needs to happen for the business and its stakeholders and customers, but also clarify the boundaries for this change. Three, it is also often the responsibility of the business analyst to identify the many ways this change can be delivered and often in consultation with stakeholders, determine the best option for delivering the identified change. Four, the business analyst also often has the unenviable task of rallying on stakeholders and ensuring that where buy-in is required, this is obtained and where stakeholders only need to be informed, they are duly informed. Five, in concert with the project manager and other stakeholders on the change initiative, the business analyst guides the change effort. Often this would involve uh, developing a requirement specification which establishes the change that needs to be done, establishes the boundary or boundaries of that change, lists all stakeholders, those that need to be consulted and those that need to be informed and converting this into a technical specification that IT or engineering or information systems, depending on the nomenclature in the organization, can then run with in creating that change. 
especially if it's a technical change. And throughout the change effort, the BA also serves as consultant in chief to those who are doing the actual engineering work that will result in the solution build and find answers to every question that might be discovered during the build efforts. So the business analyst would continue to run between the development or engineering team on the one hand, customers on the other hand, and internal stakeholders who have asked and sanctioned this change. Once the build effort for this change is complete, the business analyst needs the testing effort. And there are a number of tests that needs to be carried out. The business analyst, in consultation with colleagues from across the business who are stakeholders for this change effort or initiative, would agree the depth and the width and the variables of the testing that needs to be conducted. And oftentimes, the BA does the actual testing. Sometimes, the BA simply guides the internal and external end users along the path to complete the testing effort. And once testing is completed and the build matches the requirements, business takes a decision to go or not go. And there could be a number of reasons why business will choose to go live with this change effort or not go live. We'll go into specifics in future videos. Is the work of the business analyst now complete? No. In some environments, the business analyst is also taxed with listening to customers and noting the new challenges that the change effort might have introduced that needs to be addressed. Unintended consequences that the change effort might have introduced that then also needs to be addressed. And the cycle repeats itself. Now, every task or group of tasks that have been identified thus far are not necessarily performed sequentially and sometimes too are not necessarily performed only once. Thus, the cyclical nature of the work that BAs do and in general of the roles and the responsibilities of business analysts. I hope this has had a measure of usefulness to you. If this is the case and you are not yet subscribed to the channel, may I please implore you to subscribe now. And also, may I also ask that you please share this video with friends and colleagues who might find this content useful. Thank you and see you around. responsibility excuse me perhaps the first responsibility of a business analyst is to die is my notes